Five. Yeah. Okay, so this is just generally for uh, what to do if you hear the news of someone else being ill or having an illness or cancer or whatever it may be. Um, now, first of all, if you're a uh, relative or a friend, uh, the first thing to do uh, that you can do is to do, um, uh, if you're familiar with what, what I teach, to do counseling of beliefs or God did not, or use the Course of Miracles, God did not create. Mm -hmm. So you can do, I cancel my belief in, uh, you know, th this person having cancer. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief in this person having cancer. Or God did not create cancer in this person and so it is not real. Mm -hmm. God did not create cancer. So you can do that. That's what I would do if, if the person is not open to communication they just want to be left alone, then I would be doing that. Either cancer beliefs or God did not create it, so it's not real. Um, and uh, so those, you know, my own experience, I remember my mother having oedema, and I did, God did not create oedema in my mother, so it's not real, I, uh, probably the cancer beliefs. And, you know, uh, the same day my mother said the swelling was going down, within two or three days it had gone. And I knew that was just a mystical miracle of just me cancelling it and then it suddenly receding. And um, so it can be very, very powerful. If the person is open to this type of stuff, then um, I have videos which are feeling the feelings and I have videos on how to cancel beliefs on YouTube. And I also probably have some videos on pain. So like, for example, if it was cancer, it would be good for the person to do a cancer my belief in, like, could be like ovarian cancer or whatever it is, I'm an infinite being, subject to Now with medication, you take the medication, you, like let's say they're taking chemotherapy. I cancel my belief in the adverse side effects of chemotherapy. I'm an infinite being, subject, su subject to so I was taking 13 medication after my transplant and I did, I cancelled my belief in the adverse side effects and within two years I was down to one medication, probably the, uh, and the doctor saying that he didn't know of any transplant patient who was taking less than me. That was just, so I took the medication and just said I cancelled my belief in adverse, in, in the bad side effects and then I didn't need them after a while. So I'd take the chemotherapy and just cancel the adverse side effects. Also. Feeling the feelings out is good. I also have things of how to feel pain out or go to the observer with pain, to let go of the pain. Also the Course in Miracles, praying for a miracle to see it differently. Um, uh, instead, of, instead of cancer, I could see peace. Instead of pain, I could see peace. Yeah. Instead of death, I could see peace, or I cancel my belief in death. I cancel my belief in mortality, I cancel my belief in illness or suffering. Okay. So all of those would be good. Also to the person who's having to deal with that, I would also encourage that they also clear their own stuff around it, you know, or own fears or grief, cancel those, feel the feelings out. Okay. Also go to spiritual groups where they can be supported and they can share or if they have mentors or sponsors to connect with that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. any other questions on that area?